Hello, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So, all right, if you've been watching me, then you know we pieced this together. This is Aladdin, a huge sign. Um, now we're going to work on the foam board section. So I've already cut out the foam board. This is what it looks like, right? So normally I would just glue him on and, um, and be done with it. And from the back, it would look something like this. So, you know, the foam board is going to be smaller than the piece and that's what it would look like. It would stand propped up against the table, against the wall, and it would be fine. It's a great photo, uh, photo decor piece. However, this one is going on a table, so I didn't want the back to be like this. Um, so instead, the back is going to look like this. This is the back of the genie. So it looks like a pinata. So you can see, and then the edges are black because the streamers wrap around it as opposed to currently, or most of mine, where it's white because it's the core is white. So this is what it looks like from the front, and then the back is the streamer. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I haven't decided because it is, it adds more time, and it's not something that I wanna do all the time, but it's a good option for if when you know that the back is going to be seen quite a bit. All right, so let, let's talk about this back. So th this is the back, and let me, you know, I'm going to write on here. Back facing streamers. Okay. I'm putting that on there so that this, I know that the streamer is going to go on this side. This side, I don't care too much. This side can be whatever because it's going to have the hot glue gun. It's going to be attached to my piece like this, right? So only this side do, am I worried about it. So let me move everything over so we don't ruin all this stuff, all this good work that we did. And here is my black streamers from the Dollar Tree, one of my favorite stores. So I'm just going to be layering this and then I tuck it in. Um, you know, streamers are, the crepe paper is super easy to work with. I end up, what I ended up doing was kind of like gluing on the side and then tucking it in and it stays. So let's get started. I'm going to use Barely Art glue. I'm going to glue down the layers and you tell me what you think. I got myself into this situation because I didn't really think it through what I promised. And so this is, um, Originally, what they ordered was double-sided, right? Because it was going to be a centerpiece, so the front side was going to be Aladdin, the back side was going to be Aladdin. And I said, sure, that's a good idea. And then, you know, I take the order, everything's good. Um, and then I realized, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense because... The back side can't be the exact front side. It won't match up, right? Duh. Um, <laughs> duh. Yeah, don't get me started. Anyway, um, we'll see how this works out. I'm just going to leave it like this. We're going to just tape down everything first, and then we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I left off. It didn't even occur to me. I cut everything. I don't know, sometimes you just, you need those silly mistakes to realize like, what was I thinking? So I'm just gonna put down a little bit of glue. I'm gonna let this excess like really hang over because I wanna be able to tuck this under. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the next layer. I don't know you'll have to let me know <laughs> I can't even believe like it just didn't even occur to me like I wasn't really thinking I was just more thinking like do I have the time to do this can I fit it in with her timeline and I wanted to do it because we were doing you know new characters um so yeah that's how I got myself into the situation and so I told her all right Let's think about this. What else can I do? I can make it prettier. And so, been wanting to try this out. And you see like the, I'm cutting the streamers long so that I have room to tuck it in and also to secure this whole piece, right? This is gonna stay glued down, but it, and you can see where the glue is. 
it's a darker line but as you can see it dries i'm not going to pick it up again <laughs> let's just finish this um so this is just an option i mean it that's what i don't know i feel like that's part of growing is you know problem solving and maybe this is not what you want to do going forward but it's an idea and maybe you'll use this i some sort of version of this idea on another project that i can't wait to see so you know you can tag me and let me know all right so you see like it's gonna tuck in like this all right we're just layering right now i wasn't gonna record this because i was running out of time but I don't know. We just, we just gotta do it, right? We just gotta try it and just record and see, spark some new idea from someone else watching this. Maybe, I don't know, somehow you're gonna use the streamers on a cake topper or on a Pringles can, I don't know. <laughs> so you're just following along with me and seeing what we can do with this. I'm going to need to cut more streamers. These are kind of long. I'm just going to leave it though. Cut a few more pieces and then we're going to start tucking. This last one, I sort of want to um, have a lot of it. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. This last one, I want to give myself a lot of streamer room because I want to tuck over the piece like that. So you see how much I'm leaving there? Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and we will, it's kind of hard to hold it. Oh, but you can kind of see what it's gonna look like, right? As it bends down. Okay, so this side is gonna be a little bit hard to see, but what you wanna do is because it has all these curves, kind of like kind of like how we do it when we transfer vinyl adhesive vinyl onto a tumbler for example and we cut little slits in it so that it's easier to transfer well we're going to do that here so it's easier to tuck under okay so watch <laughs> well i'm just gonna do a few slits and we can always add more slits right so don't worry about that So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to, let me see if I can show, oh, perfect, you can't see it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add glue where the white is on the foam, okay? And we'll do just this section right here. So, see I'm bending it down and it's just, it's gonna stay glued. I'm just gonna fold that, do that slit a little bit more it's kind of wet, it's gonna stay down, so see. And then I'm not worried about how it looks on this side because our piece is actually going on top of it. I mean, we'll, we'll tuck it in better, but we want, at this point, we just wanna make sure that this is glued down. Not that anyone is gonna see the back side of this, but I think this is the easiest way to do it rather than trying to trim it. So let's put the glue over here and do this side. Um, my husband came down and he was like, that looks time consuming, get out of here. <laughs> I don't need to hear about my mistakes right now. I'm already not happy with myself. <laughs> I don't need reinforcements. Um, okay, so you can kind of see, let me flip it over this way. So you can see the, the shape of the sign and then we're just gonna, you know, tape the back side. And then the, like I said, the back side doesn't matter because the back side's gonna have the character. So, all right, so let me finish this out and then we'll, we'll start doing the sides so you can see. 
And I'm using so much glue um, kind of quickly that I'm not even bothering to put down um, the little plastic stopper that it comes with. So I don't know if that's recommended or not. But um, I'm not doing it because I am stressed for time. Okay, so let's see. We now have done that side. Let's start doing a little bit of this side. So I'm gonna do it this way so you can kind of see. Um, I would just, you know, you can either glue. So you see how it's taking the shape? It just looks nice. Um, like I said, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this on, on my characters, but when you need to, you have um, an option. So I'm gonna do this side real quick. I mean, thankfully, crepe paper is so easy to work with. Um, so you don't have to worry about it ripping or not curving to your to your foam board. And then that way you can tape one piece here if you wanted to. You don't even really need to tape it because your character is going to be glued down. But if you don't want things to you know flap around, you can do one big piece of tape right here, and that will hold all of that. Okay. And let's just glue down a little bit here, just so these little guys don't come out. And again, with the crepe paper at the end, if you want to press it in some more because you don't like the way the shape is, like you want a tighter one, then you can just go in and tuck in some more. So thank goodness crepe paper is so easy to work with and on the cheap side. So you see our bottom is already shaping out really well. All right, so now I'm gonna do this side. I'm just gonna stick the glue here. Now you might ask me why I'm just not cutting like a black piece of paper to go over it because it's a little bit long. I don't want to, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could use 12 by, no, I can't. 12 by 24 paper still wouldn't work because um, it's too wide and too long. So I would still have a seam. So I feel like, well, to be honest too, I wanted to test out how this would work. So I'm sort of just um, experimenting and adding another product, another idea, I don't know, into my bag of tricks so that if I ever am in a bind again and I this is a good solution, then it's something that I've tried before. Now I'm, I always um, try to look on the bright side of things. <laughs> and you know, I'm already in it, so I've gotta, I've gotta figure out like, you know, a positive way to look at it. Okay, so here we go. We're done with the bottom part. Let me flip it over so you can see. I mean, it is, it's nice, <laughs> right? Okay, so you see how much nicer that is? All right, let's keep going. Um, now this piece, I'm gonna wanna do a little cut right here so that I can fold it like this, okay? So let's just keep adding glue over here and on top. And I'm just hand ripping it, tearing it. Okay. Keep going. I 
I'm really more just worried about covering up the sides and being able to fold it over. I don't care about this excess right now because the, you know, the character is gonna sit on top of it and we can always trim off the excess afterwards. Right now it's just about folding the crepe paper onto the glue so that it forms our shape. And you guys will have to tag me and let me know if you like, if you end up doing this or if this idea sparks some other idea. I love it. Or comment and just tell me I was batshit crazy to do this <laughs> and that you would have done it another way. Because it's all about sharing ideas and making this work. This is not... I mean, it's not so time consuming because you can see we're like whipping through this, but it's time consuming. I don't know. But I do like how it looks, so don't get me wrong. All right, here we go. I'm gonna need to cut a little piece there. Yep, okay, so let's add more glue here. And we're almost done with one side. I mean, we're already done with the bottom. And if you've seen me do the characters before, you know my foam board is smaller than my actual character. I mean, it's maybe like an offset of a negative 15, let's say, since we're all used to offsetting in design space. Um, so it still covers the majority of my, more than the majority of my character. It covers almost 100% of my character, but it's in enough that we're not going to see the streamers at all. Okay, so we're making our way through. We're at the top. All right, so let's put more glue here. I'm going to need to um, cut some slits in here. In a second, so let me... Feel like I'm faster on this side? Am I getting faster? <laughs> You're like, why are you even doing this? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna trim off the excess because I wanna make sure that the glue, the hot glue gun gets foam board as well as streamer paper. Okay. making our way through. Oh my gosh, we only have a few more. Okay. Oh my God, we're done. Okay. I'm just gonna trim off this. I don't need all of that. Okay, let's flip this over so you can see 
Uh, I mean, I do like the way this looks. All right. This is done. Flip this. Oh. Feels a little loose right there. You can always just stick in a little bit of glue right there. All right. Here is this side. I'm gonna put him down like this. So you see, you can't see. Oh wait, hold on, let me put this on correctly there. Line this up. So this is gonna be the front side where he is. Hold on. Okay. And then here's the back side. So the back side is nice. Okay, so let's line him up. Everything looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna glue him. I'm gonna glue the head down first because it's the smallest part, and then I'm gonna lift it up and add glue over here. So, um, I don't like to plug in my glue ahead of time because I've moved my arms so much that I don't wanna accidentally burn myself. So, here is my favorite glue gun. Sure bonder and you know Lily uh, Lily has one as well in the pink and green and I I have that one um, I have a really bad habit of forgetting to turn off my um, my glue gun so I burnt I left it on overnight and the tip fell off so that's why I don't have Lily's pink and or turquoise and pink one because it's really cute but um i ruined it <laughs> definitely user error not not manufacturer but it was done by sure bonder or in partnership with sure bonder so i love it all right this is going to heat up um let's talk about i don't know is there anything that we need to talk about let me get some glue sticks and if there's any other tips that we need to talk about um when i put this one together these are mostly big pieces because it's a pretty big character but um for like the eyes and for smaller things i do like using this little guy it's the we are memory keepers quick stick so this side is like a tacky kind of stuff so let me pick up something small so that you can see it and of course i have nothing small right now oh Hold on. I have excess foam. I don't know if that's going to work because it's sticky on that side. But you can pick up, you know, oh, it would help if I was in the camera too. So I'm just, this is not my day. <laughs> I'll show you that another time. All right, this is still heating up. I should have done that. But I'm going to stop recording, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So I would normally put the glue down here first, okay? So that goes down. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna be holding the glue gun on this side, right? So now this, remember, we, this part is glued down. So I'm gonna lift this up, and it's not so delicate, right? So I'm gonna lift this up. It can bend a little bit without causing a crease in the paper. I mean, don't bend this like straight up where you're creasing things, but you can lift it up, and you can slowly add glue down section by section and you're rolling this down little by little so that you have access to the whole character to put the glue down. Um, and so you're just gonna keep adding, keep adding and dropping it down so the whole thing gets glue and the whole thing will be very, very stable and sturdy for you. All right, that's all I have for you. I will see you guys next time. Thanks guys.